Welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, we're in the Labor Day weekend and I'm excited about the opportunities that we have as we move into the fall. We're getting close to the final quarter of our year. That's always a very important time for nonprofit organizations as we see a large bulk, 30% or more, of our income comes in the last quarter of the year. So if you are moving that direction, whether it be events or letter, phone, meeting strategies with individuals as we approach year end. I'm really hoping that you are, are very successful this year. Our organization is a student-based, whether it be high school, college, and of course faculty organization. And as a result, the our structure is based on a school year system. And so we really rely on August and September as being important months for us as we kick off this new school year. So I anticipate this being a good year for our organization as well, and I hope for you too. Well, let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question for the week is from Peter in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and Peter asks, I'm starting to find that donors who used to make long-term financial commitments are hesitant to do so. Why is that? Well, Peter, thanks again for that question, and it really is a good one. And what you're seeing is what a lot of nonprofit organizations, mine included, and we are seeing right now the results of a number of factors, an uncertain economy, uh, increased taxes, increased in uh, oil, energy costs, and so many other products, in fact, including hotels, food, beverage, events, all those services continue to go up. So what we're finding is we are finding that individuals who made two, three, four, or more year commitments are beginning to reevaluate and even alter some of those commitments that they've made. We are seeing more people make one-year commitments because they don't feel comfortable about the uncertainty in our world to make a long-term commitment. I first saw that in 2021 when we did a major donor event in Orlando, Florida. And I saw it again in Southern California for our weekend event for major donors. Both years, individuals only made strong, solid one-year commitments when many of those attendees to that event and many of the same people who in the past had made three-year commitments only made one-year commitments. So that makes our world very different, very strange, and really for nonprofit leaders, very uncomfortable. Because as we were preparing for long-term commitments and our strategies and our plans, were based on those long-term commitments. Now things are beginning to change. I've put, it, I've put out a video that I would encourage you to watch that addresses what to do and how to do and how to work through uncertain times. And so I'd encourage you to watch that video. But it's important that you understand that you need to focus in uh, once again on the impact that your organization is making Look for opportunities to reinforce your appreciation, to thank your partners for their giving, to make sure that you are building on the trust that you have built, the integrity that your organization has over the years, and make sure that you keep people as informed as possible and continue to build on the trust that you have with them. And that will definitely make a difference. And lastly, you want to make sure that you offer hope to your partners. At this time, you've got some partners that are feeling uncomfortable. They're confused. They're not sure exactly what to do. And as a result, they kind of stay close with their finances and their giving. And even some of your partners may start to stop giving or at least cut back. So you've got to provide for them hope for the future, an opportunity to be involved that what they are doing truly is making a difference. So I would strongly encourage you 
to focus in on those areas and that should help alleviate it. But we've got a lot of stressors right now that are impacting especially our most generous donors. Those are our baby boomers. We are seeing a drop off in giving from 2021 to 2022. We're hoping that maybe much of that decrease in their giving will pick back up towards year end and they'll make up for the difference. But at this point, it's not looking great that that will happen. So make sure you focus in on reinforcing. Once again, I address that principle that it's so much easier to keep current and lapsed donors or to regain lapsed donors than it is to find new donors. And so it's important that you focus on those areas. So Peter, I hope that helped answer your question. Yes, these are uncertain times and people are making short-term commitments and not long-term commitments. So I hope that helps. Thank you for submitting questions. If you're one of those who aren't submitting questions and you have questions out there, please submit those to us at on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can always reach out to me on email at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And please be sure to subscribe, share these videos and all the videos on our channel with your colleagues and friends. And it's our desire that we would grow this community, but do so by providing solid principles and practices. So as we always say, it's our desire to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Watch this video to see more money raised than ever before. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.